When we talk of Mahabharata, we talk about Yudhishthira's righteousness, Bhima's strength, Arjun's valor, Duryodhan's cruelty, Karan's loyalty, or Krishna's supremacy. Nakul and Sahadev, the youngest twins among Pandavas, usually take a back seat in any narrative. They are the unsung heroes of Mahabharata who are mostly forgotten in this epic lore. In fact, not many people know that Sahadev had a gift, or you may very well call it a curse. He had the ability to know the past, the present, and the future, just like Lord Krishna. Yes, you heard that right. Sahadev knew of each and every event that was going to happen in the future, including the Great War, but because of a promise he made to Krishna, he could not divulge anything out. That is why he was considered to be the wisest of them all. This is why he was also called as Trikal Gyani. Let's find out more about the incredible story of the youngest Pandava in this episode of the Sacred Encounters. Sehdev was born alongside Nakul to Madri, one of Pandu's two wives, the other of course being Kunti. As we all know, Kunti was granted a boon by sage Durvasa, due to which she could invoke any god she wanted and beget a child from them. Pandu, who was cursed by another sage, was unable to bear a child and therefore turned to Kunti to use her boon. It was thus that Kunti bore three children, Yudhishthir from Dharmraj, Arjun from Indra, and Bhim from Vayu or the god of wind. Using the same boon, she was able to get Madri impregnated by the Ashuni twins, the gods of health, dawn, and sciences. According to a popular version, their father Pandu was in deep meditation in the forest for years and because of his penance, gained a great amount of knowledge about the past, present, and future. Once, Pandu called up his sons and shared these secrets. To get that knowledge, one had to eat Pandu's flesh after he died. Sooner, Pandu died and was cremated. None of the Pandavas could fulfill their father's wish by eating this flesh. Sehde observed a group of ants carrying a small piece of flesh which was his father's. He quickly grabbed it and put it in his mouth. Immediately, Sehde was enforced with the power of knowing the past, the present and the future. This is how Sehde came to be known as Trikal Gyani. This episode of Sahadev eating Pandu's flesh is an ongoing debate whether it was included in Mahabharata or not. A few argue that the Adi Par chapter had such instance and few argue that this whole episode of Sahadev eating Pandu's flesh doesn't make sense and add up a point that Sahadev was the most intelligent because of the intelligence of Ashuni twins and his teachings from Brihaspati himself. Either ways, when Sahadev was blessed with this gift, he rushed to his brothers and mother to share the secret, but was stopped by a Brahmin who was none other than Lord Krishna himself. Because of his new incredible powers, Sahadev knew that he wasn't just an ordinary sage, but the Supreme Lord himself. Krishna then told him that he shouldn't tell about his powers to anybody as this would have a dire impact on the outcome of the future events. But Sahadev, with curiosity, replied that he can't lie to others. Then Krishna answered that if someone asks him a question, he will reply back with a question. Sahadev agreed and asked for a promise from Krishna in return. He asked Krishna to protect the five brothers at any cost, to which Krishna also agreed. And then he went on to become one of the greatest devotees of Lord Krishna from here on. From then, Sahadev turned out to be the most silent man in Mahabharata. Imagine the amount of patience and immense mental strength he had to have by not letting things out. Sahadev already knew about the fire plot of Wax Palace or Lakshagre at Varnavat, a plan hatched by Duryodhan and also knew that he was manipulating the Pandavas into the palace. He knew about the political cunningness of Shakuni and his plan for the game of dice. He knew what would happen to Draupadi's honor in that gambling hall where Dushasan rips her clothes. He knew about who would die in the Kurukshetra war. He knew that Ashwatthama would kill all the children of the Pandavas. He knew all these terrible things would happen in the future, 
but he never told anyone about it not to his brothers who he was very much closer to than his own shadow not even to draupadi who knew all the secrets of sahadev except this one not anyone but krishna for this reason sahadev was the quietest among the pandavas keeping the thoughts to himself he had to suffer this pain for years and years sahadev knowing that shakuni was a brain child of the gambling plan took a vow that he would kill shakuni during the war sahadev knew that he was a mastermind of the kurukshetra war he also knew the motive of shakuni for starting the war he knew that shakuni's father and other family members were tortured by dhritarashtra and wanted to take revenge on him sahadev knew this and gave an offer to shakuni to withdraw from the war shakuni did not answer and challenged sahadev Sahadev shot thousand arrows and later he cut off Shakuni's head with his intense sword skills. So like a brave Kshatriya he went to war. He fulfilled all his vows and after the great war ended he carried the flag of Hastinapur all the way down to South India and beyond into Lanka and brought them under Hastinapur's protection. and he did all of this while carrying the impossible weight of knowing the inevitable today he stands as a symbol of courage patience wisdom and immense mental power let us hope that the greatness of sahadev is always appreciated and would never be overshadowed by stories of his mighty brothers now or in the future Thank you so much for tuning in with us today for another episode and if you like this video do leave a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to Sacred Encounters please take care and we'll see you all in the next one and know this that you are awesome